I'm Michelle Bentley, and in this webinar, we are going to discuss setting up your appearance as defaults for each of the various deeds offices. Now, if you are a user who only registers matters in one particular deeds office, you need not attend to the various other deeds offices around the country. However, if you do lodge out of province, you can set up your various appearers, and this will pull in and pre-populate various screens here in the .gen database for you and save you an enormous amount of time uh, when capturing your transfers. Right, so, so to select our appearance or to set them up, we start at the setup drop-down menu, we scroll down to conveyancing, and we go to the appearers menu. You can see in this example, I already have appearers set up for the Johannesburg and Peter Maritzburg deeds offices, and I am now going to insert my appearers for Cape Town. So, Yellow screen, yellow insert. Alternatively, we can right click and click on the insert button. And at description, we are going to describe which deeds office these appearers are applicable to. So in goes Cape Town. And you can see we have two radio buttons, starting with the power of attorney. Now, generally speaking, we would have several conveyances uh, attending the deeds office on a daily basis. So we would insert their names separated with the and word. And this would appear on our power of attorney. Um, and then one of the conveyances would then prep the deeds on lodge. So let me insert. I have three uh, conveyances who appear and in go their names. Separated by the and word. Okay, now if you draft in English and Afrikaans, please capture the Afrikaans variant as well. We have given you the option of a copy button, which will just, there we go, copy to the field below. But please do make sure that you change the and word to the Afrikaans variant of N. And there we go. Okay, now generally speaking, I leave the deed of transfer uh, blank. However, you can populate it with the various um, conveyances and simply delete the names uh, or leave one or whoever will be appearing. So once you've done, you can click on the OK button. All right. And you can see that Cape Town is now added to my list of appearers. We also need to go and set this up under our branch. So again, to the setup menu at the top and we select branches. Now, most firms will only have one branch. Uh, some of the bigger firms have multiple branches and multiple centers, but for the most part, you could just click on the name of your firm or the name of your relevant branch. We would then come to the Appearer tab over here, and we can select which center we do most of the work in. So I'm going to click on the drop down, and I'm going to select Cape Town because I'm situated in Cape Town, and I do most of my work out of the Cape Town Deeds Office. The program will then say, would you like to update all your live matters? And in my case, I am going to say yes, because all of my transfers come out of the Cape Town Deeds Office. 95 of my conveyancing matters were updated. If you have matters out of various centers, you would say no there, and you would select the various Deeds Offices on the fly. I am not going to set up uh, defaults for my, my deeds of transfer because I prefer to leave the appearer on my deed of transfer blank and have whomever appears on the day of lodgement uh, put their stamp in. So once you're done, you can say OK, close the branches, and your appearers will now default on any matters that you may have going forward.